Hey guys, this is Rob from ChainsawGuitarTuition.net and this week we're starting our series on crazy scales with a request, um, one of the ones I talked about in my FAQ the other week, we're going to do the Locrian mode. So there are a few things you should know about the Locrian mode to start off with. First of all, it is a mode. This scale is a mode. If you don't know what a mode is, I've got a video on uh, modes explaining what they are. This mode is also known as the seventh mode of the major scale. This is because it's like starting the major scale from the seventh degree. So it sounds like this. <laughs> One particularly interesting fact about this mode is that back in the days of church modes when the modes were the thing, this is talking way back in medieval times, they only went up to six modes. They did not include this mode because this mode, the chord from this mode, has what's called a tritone, which is an interval of three, exactly three tones, or six frets. This, in medieval times, was considered the sound of Satan, and so they would ban it. The scale formula, which is what tells you what these notes are in the scale, we start off with the first degree, that's one, always good to start from one. One, then we have a flat second, then we have a minor third, then we have a fourth, that's not flat or minor or anything, it's just a perfect fourth. Then we have a tritone, which is the flat fifth, and then we have a flat six and a flat seven. So this basically means that we can use this scale with any chord that has these same notes in. So if we're going to stick to G sharp, just for example, we can use it over the diminished triad, which is root, flat third, flat five, that sort of sound. All those notes appear within this scale. You could also use this scale over a minor seven flat five chord, which is different to a normal minor seven chord because it's got a flat five. So this then coincides with what we've got in the scale. That sort of sound. And this is the minor seven flat five, the one I played earlier. Um, so yeah, this is, this is the sound of this scale. You can't use this over normal 7th chords or minor 7th chords because it will clash a bit too much. And then in jazz, you've got the minor 251, which is the 2nd chord, the 5th chord and the 1st chord taken from a minor key. So then you have a minor 7 flat 5, then a dominant 7 chord and then a minor 7 chord. That's seen quite a lot in the minor jazz kind of progressions and you can get away with using the Locrian mode over that. When you're soloing over it or writing things with it, the same things apply as would to any other key, any other solo. I discuss these things in my ebook, Awesome Lead Guitar One, where it's all about phrasing and rhythm. And um, if you've got good phrasing, you can use this scale. Um, it's not gonna be about use this note here and this note here, because it's gonna sound dissonant all the time. If you want the tabs to this, as well as a free lesson where I go in depth about how to play each bit and what I'm doing at each part, um, then that's on my website, linked below. Um, as I said, that's absolutely free. If you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe. You can also get my ebook, Awesome Lead Guitar One, that explain some of the um, some of the ways of thinking behind soloing 
and things like phrasing and basic improvisation and uh, how to use scales against chords and kind of the thinking behind that. That's also on my website. Um, if you like this video, share it with anyone else you think would like this video. And until then, I'll see you next time. A piano or a saxophone or a guitar. Because uh, sometimes the finger is really difficult to get on the guitar. It's difficult to get a certain string of notes fast. So, uh, a lot of string of notes are He also made lots of books on the subject. Uh, most famously, the Speed Piano, which I'll link to down below on my website. Uh, it features a real 80s 